This is Spiffy Lil Kenny. Y'all here at the Bash Boutique right now in the Brick Agency. Raw Media, Raw Studios. I'm about to just fuck with y'all, show y'all what I got going on right now. So, tell us a little bit about what this Bash stand for. Um, Bash stand for Built Around Style and Heart, um, inspired by me and my guy. Hold on, break that down one more time for me. What it stand for? Built Around Style and Heart, B-A-S-H. Mm -hmm. um, inspired by me and my guy, we came up with the name in 2007. I mean, I was doing it back then, but I kind of fell off and had my money right. But now I'm back at it again. Got people helping me. So I'm just trying to push. So one more question about the clothes for right now. Where can we find these clothes at? Um, at the Bash Boutique in the Brick Agency, 2437 um, Maryland Avenue. Once again, um, the Bash Boutique in the Brick Agency, 2437 Maryland Avenue. Alright, and one more thing, you said something about your media team, what does the media team have to offer? Oh man, we got a lot to offer, matter of fact, let me show y'all real quick, man. This is my own guy, my man, bro. What up, what up? Yeah, so, he do videos, my own guy, he just run everything in here, he the overseer, everything in the break agency. Um, if y'all want to say a few things. What's up, Cam? What's up, people out there? What's going on? Your boy Larry, what up? Um, thank y'all for coming in and check us out. Right here, located at 2437 Maryland Avenue. Um, we're just a one shop uh, stop for um, talent, uh, brands, and businesses. We do merchandise and um, media, audio engineer, studio. I mean, you come here, you can get a shirt made, get a song recorded, get a video shot. And get it promoted. So basically, y'all cover everything. Basically, is what we, you're saying. We A to Z. Yeah. But most yeah. of the time, I'm trying to figure out the plays, just figure out the moves. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come up here, me. Might want to grab a book, read. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 40, I'll be 41 this year, but he's like my nephews, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the engineer is my blood, but he's my nephew, Bob. You know what I'm saying? Struggle yeah. in life. So, oh, man, yeah, on top of just like blocking in. Oh, oh, yeah, so I just uh, released a trailer for a documentary I'm dropping called More Than Hype Baltimore. And it's going to be a docker series. Um, I went back to like 1987 and tracked um, some of the artists from back then and then. All the way up to late 2019, and I sat down with about about 30 different people. Wow! Yeah. Um, I shot it in like two and a half months. The dude named uh, Wax the Fool. Could you throw out a couple of names in which you sat down with? Um, I sat down with. Say who you want me? To um, Scar Akba, mm -hmm. um, Boss Man, Molly Man, mm. um, Kevin Lyles. Kevin Lyles. Wow. wow. Okay. Um, Sean Caesar, Scotty B. God damn, uh, um, Creek Boys, uh, Sosa, Spiffy. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm doing a premiere August 24th. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it one time during around here. Okay. I'm fighting yeah. guests um, at Morgan State. Okay. Well, that sounds epic. Yeah. Sound good. Red carpet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody put their suits and stuff on. Yeah, grown. You guys landed here at um, this location? Yeah, um, probably about, we've been here, what, it's been like a year and a half now? Yeah, a year and a half. About, um, so probably like, this is what, 2019, probably? About three years, probably three years ago, I decided to get an office space. Okay, because where were you before? I was in the house, in the mm -hmm. apartment, with like two desks. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, but I was, I mean, I was working, and sometimes I had to go meet at Panera Bread. Sometimes, I'm, I mean, I met wherever I could, you know, I'm trying to get it done. But I felt like people didn't take it serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like okay. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get some office space. And I ended up uh getting some office space at this place off of Washington Boulevard. That's like three hundred square feet space. And um I think we stayed there for about ten months. Uh did everything in there. We were shooting, we were recording. That's what that's what we hooked up with Spiff. Spiff came in, uh hit me up like, oh, you know what I'm saying, I'm serious this time. I'm trying to get down with what you what you got going on, and at the time my nephew King M died. He was just. That's your nephew. Yeah. Oh, are you working with uh 
a lot of artists in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he produced it too. Yeah, that's him. That's what we just. That, that was him right there. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shit. Okay. So at the time, I had him in the incubator, just just get nice. And Spiff came in and locked in with him, so he would come in like fucking. Oh, excuse me, eight o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Eight o'clock in the morning and being there, locked in with him, recording, recording. Mm. And all of a sudden, he was like, "Yo, we we got Bill. We should just build." And you know what I'm saying? Throughout some some situations, I had some other people involved, and you know how when you're not moving at everyone's same speed, they feel like you're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person. I don't, I don't always broadcast what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of jumped off the boat. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, while they jumping on the boat, and Kenny like, "Yo, I got anchor. What's up? I'm trying to do this, 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 this. I'm trying to lock in." So he come in. We locked in. We did three months. After the three months, he's like, I'm, I'm trying, you know, like build with you. I'm trying to partner with you. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, I don't even know if he knew. We had just, I had just went and paid my rent to the landlord, and he like, we, we don't want to re, uh, sign your contract. Mm. And I'm trying to figure out why. The only thing I can tell is, is a bunch of the guys that look like me coming in and out of this place where it's usually lawyers, doctors. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they go play over there for their leisure. Right. Put us out. And, um. Put us. Matter of fact, he ended up. He was right there with me. He came in there and I was like, yo, they told us we got to be out in 30 days. He was like, all right. The other dudes I was a part of, they, you know, they was getting all mad and stuff. Yo, was like, oh, let's just look on Craigslist real quick. And I told him I need to find something that's compatible to, compatible with what we was paying. And in 30 days, we found this location we currently at. You mm. know what I'm saying? So it's we powerful. Went, yeah, it went from 300 square feet to three floors. Three floors. I mean, anything, I know a bunch of brothers out here that shoot. But when you said, yo, I was locked up, we went to school of boss, it just captured me for some reason. Right. Yeah. Okay? Because that's what happens with a lot of young men out here. Yeah. They be so talented, but they get caught up. And then after they get caught up, society throw them away. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, forget them. Nah, man. This what this is for. You know what I'm saying? Guys like y'all, him, that come here and say, you know what, yo, I don't want to be on that side of the world, but I'm going to be 100 with you. I got one foot in, and I want one foot over here. Right. And guess what I'm doing? I'm helping you take that foot out over there right. and get all the way over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Establish businesses, business relationships, networking to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? And really understanding like what we are doing, what y'all do, we all do is a business. Yeah. You gotta wait till the to get paid. You get paid today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just a little sacrifice, like you said. If you put them fifty in for somebody else, imagine what you can do for yourself in fifty. Come on. Especially doing with you. Bro, uh, thanks for interviewing us at the Break Agency, Bash Boutique Raw Studios, uh 2437 Maryland Avenue. You can follow me at uh, Spiffy, Lord Kenny, Instagram. That's all I got right now. Y'all just follow the website. www.thcbr8ek.com. We out of here. Y'all get out of here, man. Go do something. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, man.